Here we have a standard digits word problem. The problem reads, some of the digits of a two-digit number is seven, and when the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 less than the original number. And of course, we're looking for the original number. For the original number, what we want to do is we want to let t be the tens digit, and we'll let u be the units digit. Then the number that we have will be 10t plus u. For example, if we have 37, just an example, is that 37 is 30 plus 7, and 30 is same thing as 10 times 3. So it's 10 times the tens digit, which is 3, and that's the reason why we have 10 times t. And the units digit 7 is just going to be the u. And then the question says the sum of the digits is 7. So we're going to let t plus u, the two digits, add up to 7. And that's going to be our first equation. Next, for the reverse number, it's going to be where u is going to be now our tens digit. Because we're going to be flipping the digits. And t will now be our units digit instead. So then, the reverse number will be 10u plus t, using the same reasoning as where we had the 10 times 3 plus 7 for the 37. If we continue, when the question says that the, when the digits are reversed, the new number is, meaning the 10u plus t, that's the new number or the reverse number, is 45 less than, so that's going to be something minus 45, than the original number. And the original number was 10t, right here, plus u. If we simplify this equation, this becomes 9u minus 9t equals to negative 45. And then if I go ahead and multiply by 1 9, or divided by 9, same thing, we get u minus t equals to negative 5. So we're going to be combining the t plus u equals 7 and the u minus t equals negative 5 to solve for t and u. And let's do it up here. We have t plus u equals to 7 and then minus t plus u equals to negative 5. All I did was switch the u minus t into negative t plus u so that when we do elimination or add up and down, it's easier to cancel things out. So the t and the negative 2 cancel, cancels out, and the u and the u, we get a 2u. And 7 minus 5, we get a positive 2. So u equals 1. Next, if I take that 1, plug it back in here, then I get t plus 1 equals 7, or t equals to 6. So there you have it, folks. The units digit will be 1 and the tens digit will be 6, meaning our final answer will be 61. Let's go back and check just to make sure. The question told us that if we add the digits, meaning 6 and the 1, we get a 7 out of that. And it also said the reverse number, or the 16, again, 61 reversed, or the new number is going to be 16, will be 45 less than the original number, or 61. Does 16 equal to 61 minus 45? Yes, it does. So that checks out as well. Meaning, 61 is going to be the original number, our final and correct answer.